Hey there, my signs of Aquarius. How are you all doing? My name is Kim. I'm here to do your reading. This will be, this is kind of going to be changed up a little bit. It's going to be for December 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So we will start off with your guardian angel card. See what's going on, my beautiful, lovely, sweet Aquarius. And I want to say thank you for anybody who has subscribed, anybody who's thumbs up. I do appreciate that. That's really nice of you. And thank you, thank you. All right. Let's get your... This is your guardian angel reading card. Angel of Solitude. I just got that for um, Taurus. Now we have Angel of Wisdom on the bottom. Let's see here. Angel of Solitude, number 29. Number 29. Okay, let me look this up real quick for you. We have, you've received this card because your angel of solitude has noticed that you've become removed from the outside world. Yeah, a lot of us have. At times in your life, your soul needs to seek space so you can be re-energized and realigned with your inner self. Your angel of solitude is here to let you know that if you need their guidance and assistance, they're just a, a, they're just a thought away. Um, da -da -da. Angel of Solitude says, spend at least five minutes with yourself to realign yourself, like in a sacred place in your room. Your affirmation is, I allow myself to seek solitude so I can rejuvenate my soul and find the inner peace and clarity that I need. All right. So, let's get... Get a uh, wisdom of the oracle, and we will try to clarify some of these with the tarot. I think that kind of makes sense to do it like that. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius, wisdom of the oracle for Aquarius is highest good angels. Fork in the road. Fork in the road. Number 13, number 13. Okay, this one, this card says, time to make a decision, considering the consequences as you prepare to act, owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. The Oracle's message is every choice has a consequence. You've arrived at a fork in the road and you are being asked to come to a decision. Choose left, choose right. Doesn't really matter. The choice is yours, and other people cannot make this decision for you. So be present. Do not avoid this junction, for it is an important crossroads. And take heart, as no matter which path you choose, you will have a rich and meaningful experience. Nice. That's really nice. Okay, let's get us an energy card now from the energy deck. We have Leo, Angel of Balance, Libra. A little bit of Leo and Libra there for you. All right, Aquarius. Dear Aquarius, what have we got for Aquarius? And I'm so sorry about the traffic. It makes noise out there. I know it does. Sorry about that. All right. Journey. Journey. Hmm. And maybe that is what you are about to embark in after this fork in the road deal. Maybe that's what this, this is about. There's something to notice in both of these that there are signs pointing the different ways. Um, not all of these cards, like the, you can see the full, that card doesn't really have um, signs pointing anywhere. You don't really know where you're traveling when, when you go and off on that card. You know, it's a new adventure. But this fork in the road and journey are all about making decisions and they are very conscious made decisions. They're decisions that you're using your, your brain on. Um, you're not just stepping into the unknown. She's packed here. And it's just interesting that all of the, all of the signs really look exactly alike. Hmm. So... You should have some companions too. We have the, you know, the little companions there with each other walking. You might have some companions with you too. You might not though, because we got the angel of solitude. Uh, maybe that's really just a need to take time out for yourself. That seems like what that card probably means. 
let's get some clarification on the Angel of Solitude for our dear Aquarius. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Empress, uh, Ten of Cups. Wow, 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 wow. That's really, really big, guys. This is really big. Um, the Ace of Pentacles with the Empress is like huge energy, a lot of energy, a lot of creative energy, like starting something, like creating a business, um, birthing new ideas, something that's going to bring you some really good material and uh, emotionally fulfilled, you know, it's a 10, it's a completion. It's like, I've reached my completion. It's once this Empress is able to get a handle on her pentacles. And I think she's stepping through an opportunity and that might be you stepping through this opportunity. Might be somebody that you love stepping through this opportunity. Whatever it is, it ties in with the angel of solitude. Um, maybe this person just needs a time out. Maybe, maybe you need a time out. Maybe these answers of how to do this, how to get these wonderful things, maybe they'll just come to you when you're meditating and by yourself. I don't know, those are pretty good though. Pretty good. Ace of Pentacles, right off the bat. Okay, fork in the road for Aquarius. Whew. Fork in the road. King of Wands. Could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sag, or this could have to do with your Pentacles, and he is the entrepreneur. He's the one that um, builds buildings. He he's the one that sets the foundation for every everything else. He's the builder. He's the builder, and maybe that's where you're trying to decide what you're gonna build on. And that's kind of what I'm getting is like deciding what what am I gonna build on. Now there's another way to look at this. This could be dealing with a Leo Aries Sag, who is truly going a different way than you. They may be going off to a fork in the road. They may be the ones that have this issue with the fork in the road and they might be in your life. Could be that. But I've got the Ace of Pentacles, so I'm really sticking to um I'm sticking to thinking that it has to do with starting like a business or a service or something like that. Co-creating with spirit. Let's look up journey for Aquarius. Whoa major and you know that was like an accident too reminiscing reunion reminiscing with the three of cups it's going to be a journey there's going to be an emotional one get ready get ready queen of pentacles so we could have a leo uh, not leo but what is wrong with me a um taurus virgo capricorn somebody that is um all set with their money. This person is sitting good. This person likes their luxurious items and stuff like that. And look, you may be waiting for this person. Uh, this person might be contemplating whether what they've done is all worth it or not. I think it's going to, it's going to come full circle for you or this person. Um, the world, a completion. So, yeah, you know, when you look back and you reminisce, some things are always like you're not going to know if it's worth it or not. But he's looking at the things that the seeds that he's has sown to see what he's going to reap. Right. She's the one enjoying all of it. So, yeah, there's been a lot of work. It was worth it. And the world is showing you that it comes to a completion, which is a, an ending and it's a brand new beginning for something really great. Another cycle. Like if you look at um, the pinnacles in numerology, you can find out the pinnacles and the cycles and you can kind of expect what might happen according to that. Like if you look up your life path, your destiny number. All right, Aquarius, let's get you some tea leaves. It's a really good reading. Really good. Whoop. All right. Bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Tulip, great passion. Tankard, be careful about drinking, especially when you get three of cups. That might be going out with friends, so just be careful if you are. 
time to get out of the situation pale. And I'm, th I'm thinking that this has to do with this journey that you're going to take. It may not be like a situation as in, um, uh, you know, it might not be actually you're moving physically from one place to another. It might be like, if you're going from one career to the other, getting out of that type of situation can be a romantic relationship too that maybe maybe it's gone full circle. Maybe it needs to, um, maybe it needs to have a, a decision made, right? Then we have pig, beware of greed, beware of greed. I just see so much coming to you. There's so much wealth coming to you. There's so many new ideas, creative outlets. We have the inspirational King of Wands too. And the Queen of Pentacles, really nice energy. Looks like one person wants to talk and the other person doesn't. No, two people. One, two, three people want to talk to the same person on the cards and um his head is just turned i know what that means all right well aquarius i really thank you for watching this reading i appreciate you spending this time with me and um sending much light and love your way bye